Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we'll see what are stored procedures. So, stored procedure is a, you know, you can call it as normal procedure or a simple called as PROC. It's nothing but it's a PLSQL block which can perform one or more tasks. Okay. So, this is called as stored procedure. Then, uh, you would have heard of uh, many other procedures in other programming language so it is very similar to that okay so there's no much difference of the procedure that are being used in other programming languages so what exactly this procedure has is it has a header and a body okay so what header consists is first of all it consists of the name of a procedure uh, name of the procedure then uh, parameters and or else you can call the variables that you're going to pass to this procedure that's what the header will uh, contain then uh, what what exactly the body consists of the body will have the declarative or else the declaration section then execution section and uh, exception okay so these are the things that are there in the header header you will be having this name of the procedure and the parameters of the variable what the body will have is declaration section execution section and the exception section so this um, PLSQL or else this PLSQL procedure is very similar to the anonymous PLSQL block. The only difference between the anonymous block and the procedure is the anonymous block will not ha be having name and uh, you cannot you know make use of it repeatedly whereas the procedure will be having a name so that once it it's executed the procedure will be stored inside your um, you know the uh, database so that you can keep using this procedure again and again so that is the difference between the procedure and anonymous block and uh, the next thing that you need to know about uh, procedure is parameters what what kind of parameters that you can pass to the procedure there are three types one is the in then out and the third one is in out <coughs> in out okay so in parameter out parameter in out parameter so these things we can uh, look into it uh, as we go so first of all let us see the syntax or the structure of the stored procedure how exactly the stored procedure will look like first of all you will be saying create or replace procedure and you will be giving the procedure name here okay or else I'm sorry you can say the procedure name and then you might be given some of the list of uh, parameters here that's optional so that's how the starting whenever you're going to write the procedure you're going to say create or replace procedure followed by the procedure name any name and then followed by the list of parameters this is optional it depends on whether you're passing the parameter to the procedure or not okay then you're going to say is then is going to be the declarative or declaration section then you're going to say begin then here is going to come the execution section then you're going to say exception and here is going to be the exception section and then end the procedure so what how uh, let me explain you from beginning so whenever you're writing the uh, procedure you're going to say create or replace procedure <coughs> sorry a uh, create or replace procedure followed by the procedure name then the list of parameters this is also optional if you want to give some parameter then you will be giving it then is is nothing but it just it 
just is just saying that it is the beginning of the declarative section so whatever is between this ease and begin is going to be the declarative section so once after that once the begin starts with between this begin and execution uh, sorry exception part is going to be the execution execution section so here you're going to say what what needs to be done what needs to be executed what needs to be displayed and all so here in the declarative section you'll be giving the variables you'll be specifying the variables you'll be specifying the cursors everything then exception it's nothing but is used to ca you know, um, catch the runtime errors and all okay so that's what is about this uh, procedure uh, syntax so this is what is uh, about this so in the next tutorial we'll uh, see how we can write a small uh, uh, procedure example so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and also understood what exactly stored procedure are and how, how the syntax is like so I'll uh, in, I'll come up with the next tutorial explaining more about the procedures and then we'll later move on to the functions okay so if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica at gmail.com and keep supporting my videos and liking my videos thank you very much for watching